Hello everyone and welcome back to the workbench. Today I'm going to make a very quick video on bolt carrier groups and specifically a lightweight bolt carrier group and how much lighter is it and how does that affect the shooting and the functionality of a rifle. The lightweight bolt carrier group was purchased from AIM Surplus for $120. That's really not much more expensive than a standard mil spec bolt carrier group, typically around $80 to $100. When I was searching for a lightweight bolt carrier group for my AR upper build, I specifically was looking for one from a well-known manufacturer, but also one that was significantly lighter over a standard mil spec. I noticed during that search that a lot of companies didn't put what their bolt carrier groups weigh on their websites or the item descriptions, and I'm not sure why that is exactly, but some had a percentage that it was, you know, 25% or 20% lighter than a standard bolt carrier group. Well, if I don't know how much one of these weighs, I don't know how much one of those weighs. I can't do that math. I don't have a starting point. So I am going to go ahead and weigh these for you right here, right now. This bolt carrier group is lightweight from AIM Surplus. It is nickel boron coated. The bolt carrier group I'll be comparing it against is a standard mil spec bolt carrier group out of a Smith & Wesson MMP15 rifle. Let's go ahead and weigh this one first. That comes in at 11.1 ounces. Now the AIM Surplus Lightweight Bolt Carrier Group, that comes in at 8.45 ounces. So it's about a 2.6 ounce savings or 31-ish percent. Well, what does that mean to a shooter? It means a couple things. Uh, first, anytime you have less weight moving, it's going to take less of a force to slow that weight down, stop it, change the direction. So when you're firing an AR-15 rifle, the less mass that you're moving, the lighter the re felt recoil is going to be. If you combine this with a longer gas system, like let's say a mid-length or a rifle length gas system, and then also you employ the use of an adjustable gas block, you're going to get significantly fe less felt recoil than a standard mil spec bolt carrier group on a carbine length gas system without an adjustable gas block. Well, that's exactly what I've done. I've purchased this. This cost $120 from AIM Surplus. It was actually relatively inexpensive compared to a standard mil spec bolt carrier group and also some of the other competitors to the lightweight bolt carrier groups like a Spikes Tactical One, which to be honest with you, doesn't look anywhere near as appealing to the naked eye as something like this does. Theirs just looks like somebody took a, uh, a drill press to it and just kind of went to town and it looks like Swiss cheese. Not very aesthetically pleasing. This one, to me, shows a little more attention to detail, they way, the way they milled everything out. And uh, it looks good, it feels good, and 30% weight reduction really, I mean, is significant. However, keep in mind, something like this is going to be much more durable and will work with all kinds of different types of ammunition, bullet weights, powder charges, etc. Something like this is going to be a little more finicky and also will wear faster if you don't use a longer gas system like mid-length or rifle length and also an adjustable gas block. The upper receivers that each one of these will live in is specifically designed for the bolt carrier group but also for the application. If I ever choose to take another AR carbine class, I'm going to want to use something that is reliable with all different kinds of ammunition and also something that is uh, a little bit shorter. So I've opted to stick with a standard AR-15 upper receiver. It's got an A2 front post, A2 flash hider. Really the only thing that's been added or altered on this upper is the Magpul furniture. So my standard mil spec bolt carrier group will live in this upper receiver. Conversely, the lightweight bolt carrier group was purchased for the build that I had in mind. So here is my build. I've got the uh, oversized charging handle. I've got the red dot on it. I've got a free float uh, tube on it here, free float handguard, and a mid-length gas system paired also with a muzzle brake. So, I've got a specific competition set up here and the lightweight bolt carrier group 
should allow for less felt recoil and thus quicker follow-up shots with that system. Thank you very much for watching. I do have other videos surrounding gas systems, specifically a Cirac Ordnance Adjustable Gas Block install video, so check that one out as well. Again, thank you all for watching. I'll talk to you all again very soon.